Well, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of TJ's Chainsaw Restoration. Well, it is a beautiful day here in the Rogue Valley of Southern Oregon, and it's a nice February, oh, I think it's today's the 6th, February 5th or 6th. But anyway, um, it's basically the last Monday, Monday before the last one I'm going to have off, and I've just been, just been really enjoying it before I transfer to the new job that I'm getting. Um, I don't know if I told you about that yet, but I will be um, getting another job here shortly. So, I'm not sure how that's going to affect my time for restoration of saws, but we'll find out. It pays more and it has more hours. So, probably have more money, but I won't have any time to use it. <laughs> and that always how it goes. Well, I got the uh, 26 LCS on the uh, bench here, and I'm waiting on some parts for it. I need to go and also find some uh, eighth inch fuel line fittings. Um, our parts store I have here locally didn't have any, so I've got to go search some out from some other stores. But I uh, um, was searching the marketplace on Facebook and came across a, a saw that uh, peaked, perked my interest a little bit. Um, I'm not very familiar with this brand by any means. Mainly Home Light, McCullough, and Still. Those are the three brands I'm pretty familiar with. Uh, but this one was a Remington. Uh, Remington, I believe, was a military... Uh, I don't know if they were a military corporation, but I know, I believe they made a lot of saws for the military back in the day. Uh, I think Remington, of course, now has been bought out by Electrolux, and it's just a piece of crap like the rest of what Electrolux makes. Um, but I'm not sure on its whole history. Uh, but anyway, this saw uh, picked up my interest. It was interesting style. It looked pretty big. But it was complete, and it even had the original Remington roller nose bar, which is a whole different design than what I'm used to. Um, but anyway, the price was, in my, in my opinion, really good. The saw did run. It's just been sitting for a while, so as long as all the everything's the same. I'm hoping it's got a tilts and car. I haven't even pulled the air filter cover yet. I've been running around today, but I went about, I want to say, probably 120 miles. No, wait. I went, not 100, uh, 73 miles one way, and then about, and then about 73. So I, I'm going to say probably 80 miles uh, one way. So 160 mile drive today to go pick this thing up. But let me grab it for you, and we'll show you what it is. So like I said, it's a Remington, and I'm not too familiar with these. This here, make sure you guys can even see what we're looking at. All right, this here is a Remington Super 660. Like I said, not very familiar with these by any means, but it's a pretty good looking saw. A lot of the original paint's still there. Um, it's just in pretty darn good shape, even the bottom is. And the side cover's in good shape. Pulls over. It's got okay compression. I'm thinking uh, getting it running will help it, the rings break loose, but the interesting is thing is, so your stop switch is right here, but this is your manual oiler. And I don't know if it's pumping anything out anymore, but your manual oiler on these things is on the top. It's a top button manual oiler, so it's pretty interesting. I'm not I'm used to the push button, but not on the top. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, also, the really cool thing is the roller nose bar. Now, like I said, this is a Remington bar. So it even has, it even says, of course you're not going to be able to see it, but it says Remington right there with the patent number. So I thought that was pretty cool. So basically this is a bone stock saw. The guy supplied a an original spare chain for it. I don't even know what brand of chain this is. Uh, oh, it's Remington chain too. Look at that. And it comes with the, what I believe to be the original bar wrench, which is also awesome. So this would have fit in right here. So really cool. So anyway, um, I got this saw for 60 bucks um, as it is, and I think that's a pretty darn good deal. So this isn't going to be an actual repaint right now. I need to do some research on it, and I need to see what I'm going to be looking at to get parts because as of now I have absolutely no idea what parts availability is on this. I, I saw it and 
Uh, I saw the condition it was in, and that's that's as far as I've gone as of now. I mean, if any of you guys have ran Remingtons in the past or know about them, then yeah, chime in. I'd be happy to hear. But what I'm going to do right now, or starting this week anyway, is or even this, I might even wait till this weekend. But I'm going to be just dismantling it, cleaning it, um, making it spark again. I'm pretty sure it's got points ignition, and we'll clean it up, tune it up. Um, as long as it's if it's got tilts and HL carb, I've got plenty of kits for that. I'm hoping it's a tilts and HL, or whatever, you know, big a big big tilts and carbs. Uh, the old saw guys will know what I mean it, by the old big tilts and carb. It's just a big old <laughs> carb like that big. Um, so I'm hoping it's got one of those in it, and but the guy said it did run, and it it might even run now. You never know. So, well, there you guys go. That is the one of the new projects. I do have another saw on the way too. It just shipped out today, as a matter of fact. It's coming from California, so not too far. And this one is yellow, so it's probably the in this time it will be the first one that comes to your mind. The first two letters start with an M C, so and it's a big one too. And I think I got it for yeah, decent steel overprice. I wouldn't say it's a steel. I'd say I paid close to what it's worth in the condition it's in. But we'll see. I'm excited to get it here because it's going to be a perfect candidate for the uh, spare 36-inch hard-nosed bar I've got sitting around. So, All right, guys. Well, this completes another episode of TJ's Chainsaw Restoration. Uh, we're going to get to work on this Remington sometime. I might tinker with it a bit today, maybe see if I can get it to run decently. Um, also guys, stay tuned probably next week for a video of the 2100 special home light that I've got, Cutting Wood. Um, I'm actually going to make that video today, but I'm going to put this one up first and then that one. So next Monday, I'll try and get that up or sometime close to the weekend. So be watching that because I did cut a little bit with the 2100 and that sucker's got some power. Like I've, I've never, it's a, it's pretty cool. So. Well, I'll quit blabbing off. There you guys go. We got another project saw, and we got one more on the way. So, all right, guys, have a good weekend. See ya.